Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 32 of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were just in front of the Northern Patch Passage. Motherfucker. <laughs> just in front of the Northern Passage here. And we're going to start the DLC, uh, Honest Hearts. This is our little band of people we're going to be joining up with. This guy is a bit of a piece of work. And believe me when I say we're going to need to... Hmm. I didn't know I had single shotguns on me. I thought I sold those. Oh well. We will leave them here and we will sell them later. When I get back. You know, that whole stuff. Uh, what I need to do is put on myself the today's physician uh, pretty sure mentats yeah there we go and that well, lad's life would be good too and we're gonna talk to this guy you looking for trouble bud I got plenty to spare so watch your ass around me ah uh huh I see you're wearing a pit boy in a vault suit Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? You called it a pit boy. That already tells me you're dumb. Uh, what do you use your pit boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head. Be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? No. Jed says um, it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. You're aware I'm wearing a Pip-Boy too, right? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? Uh -huh. I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. I could have sworn I was able to deal with this. Crap. Um, you do anything around here besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of uh, a kind. I've been places, see, and done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead Eye Ricky. That's my name. Uh, Dead Eye, huh? How'd you get that nickname? Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. I know you guys can't look at it, but I'm doing it little eyebrow cock right now because this is a load of shit and you can see it from a mile away. Death jaws, huh? Did you mean to say death claws? No, no. You heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, but bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them steel brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. You're saying that you killed a Brotherhood of Steel paladin. What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them Brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. 
Too bad there's no such thing as an 11 millimeter submachine gun. There so is. Or was a 9 millimeter? Or a 10? I don't know. Don't care. Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. You're not wrong there. You're definitely not good with numbers. Do you have any other special skills or abilities? Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah. I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> uh, okay. Where'd you get the vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two -two. That's where I grew up. Where is Vault 2-2 two -two located? I can't tell you that. I have a sworn vow of secrecy. Or something like that. To all the people I left behind. You're lying. You have no idea where Vault 2-2 two -two is. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. You caught me. I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a of dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? Jeez. Uh, I guess I don't have everything I thought I did for uh, this episode. <laughs> Oopsie! It would have been better if I had more science skill, but or at least some more speech skill, but apparently I forgot to do that. Eh, well. Screw it. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk to uh, Jed here. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. If you guys cannot tell that voice, I'll tell you right now. Telltale Games Walking Dead. That doesn't hint you in. There's no helping you. Tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. How about my audience? Can I mention it to them? <laughs> Who is Joshua Graham and why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Fair enough. I understand this caravan is headed to Zion. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Yeah, you're not wrong. That'd be decent. I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Warlords? How dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. Fair enough. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Can't blame you for that. Degenerate tribes. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. White Legs. So they wear pants all the time? Then, I'm not funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, tell me about the Raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, 
jacked up on Kim's, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Fair enough. Had some sure. other questions. Uh, how... Well, no. Let's not do that. Tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown. Up in the northern part of the NCR. Mm -hmm. Run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway's too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Fair enough. What can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. Mormons. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion. I think. And they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well... The ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They Same here. for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen, too. You don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites... Happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Fair enough. I'm ready to go to Zion. I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack Brahmin. What? Not only could I carry my own gear, I could carry yours, his, and one of your Brahmins. Huh. I do believe you could. Alright. Why the weight limit, though? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Fair enough. That's all for now, but I'll be back. Yeah, reckon you will. Uh, shipping crate is basically where I drop all the stuff that I'm not going to be using. Uh... I'll need that on me. Uh, what I won't need is... I pressed the wrong button. Weapons. Drop that. Uh, I don't really need the katana. For right now, anyway. Shovel I won't need. Uh, those I won't need, obviously. Which one should I bring with me? Lucky or that gun? Post in the comments, although I'll already be decided right about now. I think I'll drop Lucky for now. and Because I can just run the ammunition on both of these, and that'll be good enough. Speaking of which ammunition, I need to drop that off, drop those off, drop those off, drop those off, drop those off, and drop those off. Although, I think now, I think I might carry those, but I don't yeah, that should be good. Uh, let's see what else I can drop. Um, hmm. It's got to be something good. It's, that's not going to help me. Uh, let's see. Purify the water. I don't really need that. At least as much as I think I will. I'll probably need some. But not too many. Ten should be good. That should hold me. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparillas, I won't need a lot of those either. Uh, that should do for now. Super Stim Packs, I'm not going to be using that. I'll probably sell it once I get there. Um, whiskey, probably won't need that. I'm pretty sure I won't. Don't worry about the, uh, dealings with the stat drop from the hoarder thing, I'll eventually pick enough up that I'll be bringing myself back up to that. 
Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes. Maybe. Um, swap gambler hat. Uh, huh. I do need that. Do need that. I wish I could have... Whoops. <laughs> wish I could have repaired that before I got out here, but I... I'll be able to fix it once I get into Zion. Uh, don't need this. I don't know why I'm carrying that even. I don't need this or that. Uh, let's see what else I can drop. I might be able to drop a bit more weight. Uh, gotta be some Bleak Venom. I don't need that at all. Uh, so I have a little extra weight. Might as well, uh... I'll carry whiskey on me. Fuck it. Why not? Uh, yeah, I have this. Uh, let's talk to this lady first. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Pretty astute eyes there. What are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. I like this girl. I like her. What was that? What was it like to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Yeah. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass Damn. out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? It's, you know, it's a way to think. And I'm surprised they're still working cameras. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Yeah. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks America. I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. <laughs> That's basically what America is. Were the 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. You're not wrong. A bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit. Straight into 80s territory. Does not sound By fun. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them. So we Jeez. turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. Oh, dogs if the 80s barking. had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Fair enough. What do you know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the desert rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the white legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the white legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. All right, goodbye. Catch you another time, then. Hopefully. Now, uh, let's talk to Jed. Are you here to join me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? I think we are. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. Uh-huh. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? <laughs> you sure you're ready now? Damn, I sound like a child. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. 
It's going to be a long cutscene. Might take up the majority of the episode. Just saying. Honest Hearts. The paths we're following are slow going. So you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk, said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right. Oh. Uh, I can save it right here. Okay. Well, then we'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about this particular DLC and other games that we'll be playing. My, myself, I'm very excited for this DLC. It has one of my favorite characters, a favorite storyline for him. And I will explain that as soon as we get to him. Anyway... And I'll see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.